And that's a fish on. Oh, that's a nice fish. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Hi guys, and welcome to Piscator UK. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the bombarder. Now, I use the bombarder for sea trout fishing and for bass fishing. There's many different ways out there how you can tie the bombarder, and some are quite elaborate. But the way I tie it is super simple, super easy, and super effective. So let's jump right in. To tie my simple bombarder rig, all you'll need is a pair of scissors, some 5mm rubber beads. If you've not got rubber beads, you can also use some Guru line stops, size 6 swivel, 8 or 10 pound fluorocarbon for your leader or hook length. Of course, your bombarder of choice and your lure of choice. Now I always use braid as my main line as this is a form of lure fishing and I just find that braid because of the zero stretch gives you better contact, better hookups on the fish. Attached to my braid main line I will always have a shock leader of approximately 12 pound fluorocarbon which is tied on using an FG knot. To tie this simple bombarder rig I first take the end of my fluorocarbon shock leader and thread that through the top of your bombarder. This is the top of your bombarder. Thread that through till it comes out the bottom of the bombarder. Next, take your 5mm rubber bead or float stop and thread the end of your shock leader through the rubber bead. Slide that onto the line out the way. Then take your number 6 swivel and thread the end of your shock leader through one end of the swivel. And the choice of knot you use here is up to yourself. You can use a half blood knot, a uni knot or a polymer knot. I like to use a uni knot. And always remember to moisten your knot before you cinch down on it tightly. Trim off the tag end. That's your 5mm rubber bead and swivel tied on to the end of your shock leader. Now I prefer to use fluorocarbon as my hook length and I always like to use between 7 and 9 foot of hook length simply to keep it as far away from the bombarda as possible. But choose a hook length that is comfortable for you to cast, but keep it as long as you possibly can. Take the end of your hook length and thread that through your number 6 swivel. And again, use a knot that you feel comfortable with. A uni knot, palomar knot or half blood knot. I'm going to use the uni knot. And again, always remember to moisten your knot before fully tightening up on it. Trim your tag end. And that's your hook length now tied on to the end of your number six swivel, ready to tie on your lure of choice. Now again, when you tie on your lure, use a knot that you feel comfortable with. When tying on to a soft plastic like a red gill, always just use a uni knot. When tying on to an ultralight lure like a fly pattern, I always tend to use a non-slip loop knot. To tie the non-slip loop knot, first form an overhand loop in the end of your line. Now don't tighten your overhand loop tightly, just leave a little loop approximately one centimetre. Take the end of your hook length and thread that through the eye of your fly. Take the end of your hook length and go back through the loop the same way as the line comes out of the loop. At this stage, you want to pull the loop close to the eye of the fly. And hold that in place with your forefinger and thumb. Now take your tag end and wrap that around the hook length three to four times. Take 
take your tag end and put that through the loop the same way as the line came through the loop. At this stage you want to pull the tag end so that the twists go down towards the overhand loop. And before you tighten up fully, I'd always recommend to moisten your knot. You know when you tie this knot correctly, the tag end will always be pointing down towards your fly. Trim the tag end. And that is your loop knot complete and ready to fish. And there you have it, a finished simple bombarder rig. Now I do like to keep it simple for a good reason, especially when fishing on the coast. There may be floating or suspended weed in the water, and I find the more hardware you have on your rig, this can only lead to weed getting hooked up onto your rig, which will prevent you from fishing the bombarda effectively. So guys, I hope you found that video useful on how I tied on the bombarda. Like I said, it is super simple and super easy to tie. If you want to see a video on how I fish the bombarda, places I look for, areas to fish, also go on and answer viewers' questions that have been asked over the years and how I fish the bombarda. If you want to see that video, click on the link below. Tight lines, happy fishing, and I'll see you next time on Piscator UK.